What is up, all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McBee here. And before you get into this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club, I want to just let you know what, what's, what to expect with this episode and episodes going forward. Uh, unfortunately, uh, starting with this episode, we will no longer be using voice actresses. Um, life gets in the way, things come up, people get sick, uh, people travel. It's all unavoidable things. There's there's nothing anybody can really do about it. Uh, we're not blaming anybody. Uh, in fact, we're very grateful uh, for the time that the voice actresses did give us for this uh, this particular project. And you know we're we're sorry that it's taken us over a year to get them out. But uh, now we're we're just going to go ahead and. and uh, put out the episodes without using voice actresses um, for episodes going forward. And we hope that you still, you know, enjoy watching this guy right here or react to the the game itself as as I'm playing it. Um. So without further ado, here's Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah, it's because you're a slacker. You gotta tell your boyfriend to kick rocks. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Siori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Siori. I wave my hand in front of her face. You're spacing out again. What's going on with her? Huh? Is everything alright? I don't believe you. It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. It's, it's just, that's what it seems. It feels weird. Yeah. I'm gonna say the same thing to you. Every girl I grew up with told me, you're like a sister, I care about you way too much. Except I was that brother that they cared about way too much. Fuckers. Lies. See where he shows me a big smile. It's fake as shit. <laughs> say so. I worriedly glance at Siori before turning back towards everyone else. Maybe I should have ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Siori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they might be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Siori recently? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Yeah, that's why I brought it up. I'm 
Monica peers across the room at Siori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Do you think? She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. Just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. Kind of what I was hoping for. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? Tell me more. Can we go for three? Oh. Okay. Wonder if it's really bothering her that I did say that I would walk Yori home. It's a possibility. How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Was your creator a psychologist? <laughs> it's said now, it can't be forgotten. <laughs> God, your creator should have told you that. Jeez. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Siori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Siori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Siori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her? That I'm letting this weight me down so much. Is it weighing you down? It is. It's bothering the shit out of me. <laughs> Good writing, guys. It's too real. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? <laughs> and that's breaking the fourth wall. That's us doing it this time. <laughs> I glanced around the room. Suddenly, I noticed Yuri peering at me from under her book. Finally, some good news. But she looks away just as quickly, with a flustered look on her face. I noticed that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I had no choice but to approach her myself, stand up from my desk, and sit in one next to her own. Fuck you. What? <laughs> what did I do? What did I fucking do? <laughs> Why are you saying fuck me? Cause I knew you'd get that reaction. Cause you've done nothing wrong. Uh, Fuck you! <laughs> Relax. You didn't even do anything. Alone with my thoughts. How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Can you read minds? What am I thinking? trying to cover up the fact that she's been staring at me. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern.
Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. Just feeling a bit uneasy about Siori. Yeah, she seems a little off today. But when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something's happened to her. not that. I just don't want you to misunderstand. Siori and I have been friends for a long time, that's all. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Do you think there might be something behind it after all? Yeah, I guess she does. We're learning more about each other. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Here he suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious. As if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Give me way too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. I hate this line more than anything else on the face of this planet. Just say it. It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Yeah. I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Before I knew it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same.